What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out one of the latest rugged devices from Alcatel called the WP22. So this is a budget friendly rugged device that's shockproof and also waterproof. So if you want to take this phone in the shower, if you want to take it to do swimming, of course nothing will happen to the device. The way the device is built we also have some drop protection features. So if you look at the corners here you're gonna notice that we have a bit more rubberized plastic. So if you do drop the phone on a corner nothing will happen to it. On the sides here we have metal so again if you do drop it on the side nothing will happen to it and on the back we have some more plastic. So depending how you drop the phone nothing will happen to it. If you look careful enough at the screen here the screen is still covered by glass like most phones out there but we do have a rubberized lip that's just above the screen so a bit higher than the screen so it will offer the screen some protection but as I said it really depends how you drop the phone because if you hit the screen with the rock well there is a good chance that the screen will still break so ideally you're not gonna drop um, the phone. Now this phone is also pretty heavy so this weighs um, 298 grams but that has a lot to do with the massive battery that we have inside the device. So inside this phone we have a 10,000 milliamp hour battery so this will last for quite some time so you're not gonna have to charge this phone daily. Since we are talking about the battery and charging inside the box there is an 18 watt charger that comes with the device we also have a USB A to a USB C cable and of course the user manual. So the USB C port is at the bottom of the device here. Here, the USB-C port is also covered by a rubber flap so whenever you are not using that just cover it to that so this way there is no sand that goes in there the water doesn't go in there and so on. Looking at the back of the device well this here looks like leather however this is plastic that looks like leather then we have some metal around here and in the center here we have a speaker this is a very loud speaker so even if you're holding the phone like this to watch a video or something like that the speaker is loud enough that you don't actually need more than that so very loud speaker on the back of this device then we have three cameras one of them is a macro camera and another one it's used for portrait mode pictures and just um, here on the right hand side we have some infrared LEDs. So those infrared LEDs you can basically take pictures in complete darkness. So if you are in a dark room total darkness um, you can still take pictures even in um, complete darkness. Now these are some pictures that I took um, over the past couple of days with this device just to get an idea how the main camera on this device, um, device um, does. As for um, video capabilities the maximum recording resolution from this device is 4k at 30 frames per second with that um, rear camera and um, this is going to be a short example of a video that I filmed um, with this device in 4k at 30 frames per second. Alright this is a quick video test with this new Alcatel phone that I am trying out. So the maximum recording resolution with the rear camera on this device is 4k at 30 frames per second. I'm just going to stop here we're going to pan left. and back right and we'll walk straight so yeah this is how recording done in 4k 30 frames per second would this device would look like moving to the right hand side of the device so here we have the volume buttons and the power button the power button is also a fingerprint scanner i'm going to show you how that works so it takes half a second from the time um, you touch that fingerprint scanner for um, the screen to unlock. So for a rugged device I feel that's um, decent um, enough. And um, on the other side of the device we have um, the SIM card slot. The device can take um, either two SIM cards or a SIM card and an SD card. And then we have a customizable button right here. So you can set that button to open certain apps or do certain things. Personally I have it set so the light on the back of the device comes on. But you can choose other actions or other apps um, to open whenever you push that button. Moving to the front of the device here we have a 6.58 inches IPS panel that has a 1080p resolution we also have nice and vibrant colors and the viewing angles on it are really really good so you can see the screen no matter how you look at the phone. As for screen brightness if you're using the phone indoors no problems whatsoever the screen is nice and bright but you will notice that whenever you take the phone outside in direct sunlight it is a bit difficult um, seeing the screen. Now this is kind of normal for pretty much all rugged devices that I've tried so keep that in mind the screen doesn't get super bright for um, the outside. 
at least if you are um, out on a super sunny day. Performance-wise, the device is using the MediaTek Helio P90 that's paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage, and the device runs Android 13. Now, if you do run the Antutu benchmark on this device, you're gonna get a score of about 260,000. So you already know that you're not looking at the powerhouse. So if you're planning on buying this device for graphic intensive games, for example, well, this is probably not the best phone for that. However, I did try a bunch of applications on the phone like YouTube, Chrome, Facebook, Light Games, and everything does better than I was expecting. So there is really no lag for those applications that I've mentioned. However, as I said, you're not gonna be able to play some graphic intensive games on this device, but for day-to-day -day tasks, I feel that it does more than okay. There is also an NFC chip inside it, and that means that you're gonna be able to make payments using Google Pay. Just to give you an example, we do have a variety of sensors available, and I've also tried the GPS unit inside it, and it only takes a couple of seconds for it to find your location, and once your location is found, it doesn't seem to lose it. So there you have it. This was a super quick look at Alcatel's latest rugged device, the WP22. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.